Hello guys, and welcome back to The Witcher. That kid made... <laughs> some kid is making some strange sounds. But, uh... It is actually the next day. It's no, no longer the night. I actually, uh... Did a couple of things. I did a couple of things. I, uh... Basically did some inventory management. A.K.A. Selling all the scrolls that I still had and had already read. Read. I mean, that ah, oh boy. Um, yeah, did that. Uh, also bought the subterranean plants book and uh, a forensic medicine book, which I don't know what I'm gonna get out of that. But if I get something out of it, I bet it's gonna be helpful. Um, also, uh, I saw that uh, one of the merchants I was at, I think it was the blacksmith, blacksmith uh, guy that previously. Uh, you know, told me to come back, you know, during the day, which I did in the morning. First thing, actually. <laughs> uh, I saw he had a room, so, um... Actually, there was supposed to be another uh, thing here, a blue meteorite. Also, I need to turn down the volume just a little bit. That's too much. Fuck me. Either too soft or too loud. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I, I saw he had one. And uh, I can use those to upgrade my silver sword. And uh, also he had a blue meteorite. Uh, and another merchant uh, also had another blue meteorite. So I had three. So, you know, I quick saved and went to the dwarf. Um, and basically said, hey, can I upgrade? And basically, it lets you buy... If you have three blue meteorites, or another color meteorite, I guess. Um, then it will just let you buy... Uh, as in, forge a new weapon for you. And that's what I got. Meteorite sword. With uh, three blue meteorite. As it says, actually. Uh, damage based on combat style, yep. Uh, but the bonus is chance of critical effect, pain, plus 45%, and plus 20% chance of disarming. That is pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good, I'd say. Um, right, I uh, still don't know what that was, but uh, yeah, that, that seemed really good. That's, that seemed really good. Um, still got plenty of money. Well, plenty. I still got some money, let's uh, put it like that. Also, I saw that uh, the blacksmith guy was also... No, I don't think it was the blacksmith, it was this guy. The, uh, one of those two. Uh, they're selling new armor, which uh, does seem really good, but it's damn expensive. It's 5,000 orins, so, um, yeah. Nowhere near on that front. So let's read that. Milo Vonderbeck. Before beginning an auto autopsy, we must gather as much information as possible to help us interpret any marks we discover on the body. It is good to know who the victim was and in what setting the corpse was found. Witnesses should be questioned and experts consulted. A well-conducted autopsy gives almost as much information as talking to the victim. We can learn when death occurred, its circumstances, and what happened to the body afterwards. We may also learn about the murderer, any objects used in the murder, and the manner of their use. A corpse cut with a scalpel is like an open book. Whoever examines the details and, caref and carefully tests every hypothesis will understand it. Medical science glossary entry. Huh. Let's actually have a quick look at that. I wonder if we're gonna be actually using that then. Uh, right. For centuries, diseases have plagued mankind. Yet when Jan Becker discovered the... Discovered, subjected the power to his will. People gained a powerful weapon in their fight against disease. Made you study bacteria and viruses. The ways germs spread as well as genetics. Their research is used by medics who set up hospitals and produce increasing, increasingly effective medicines. There are also magical potions, capable of healing wounds and internal injuries. Many magic users, such as Marty Sodergren or Vizena, 
have become healers, traveling the world and using their magic for the good of others. Autopsies are not universally approved of in criminal, criminal investigations. However, experts acknowledge the value of forensically exam examining a corpse after witnesses have been questioned and ex experts consulted. An autopsy can provide valuable information on the identity of a victim and on the precise means by which a crime was committed. While performing an autopsy, you should ask detailed questions based on the knowledge you possess. By rejecting impossibilities one by one, you may ultimately find that the truth lies in the most unlikely of hypotheses. So I wonder if we eventually will, you know, be able to use that. Like, someone will get murdered and we can look at the body and notice, like, a cut or, you know, something like that because... Or an internal injury, or something like that, and then we can have a then we have a lead or something. I don't know. I, I'm I'm interested. Uh, subterranean plants. Then the book describes sewens and green mold, as well as the methods of obtaining alchemical ingredients from these plants. Yay! Not really. Uh... Oh, it's just green mold. Great. So I guess I should head back to the. Uh call now. Sewer. Uh, I'll not do that while recording now. I'll, that's something I will possibly do. Um, you know, between sets. Need anything? Um, sell me your wares. Will you sell me your wares? Siegfried's friends are always welcome. If you want to buy something, speak to my apprentice. I handle forging and special orders. Right. So he also, yeah, he are I actually sold out of all that stuff, so... He apparently also can forge, but uh, I did that at the, the blacksmith, so... Uh, but he does uh, actually buy the books back and stuff, so that's... That's good. That's some, uh, some good money. Not too much in this case, but, you know, it's enough, it's enough. Uh, right, that, that about does it. Yep. Right, so, now what am I gonna do? I have, like, a million quests. That's what it feels like. Uh, right. I also asked Taylor to, uh, you know, you gamble that option. Uh, he says, no, fuck off. I, I don't play with amateurs. So, yay. <laughs> uh, right. Let's, uh, I think we have some business over here. That's actually the other way. The warehouse first, and then there was... Over here at the inn somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's this way first. I wonder what the boy wants and the girl. You're huge and ugly. Thanks. Hey, Siegfried, how are you? How are you doing in the rain? Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the order. Uh, no. Oh, no, thanks. Uh, I'd really thought about it. I'm here for here about the notice. Mm, I hadn't really thought about it. I'm here about the notice. I suspected it would interest you. Have you proof of slaying ten drowners? No, not yet. No. Nope. Return when you have their tongue. Yes. Right. Order footman. I don't think we're going to be let be able to get in there. We give our lives to the order. Great. Now where's that lead then? The grave digger. What did he want again? Wait, poster and ever considered enlisting? Visit your local Royal Tamarian Guard recruiting station. PFI, poor fucking infantry. Valorat's a dickweed. <laughs> nice. Uh, I saw a lot of those advertisements, but uh, I guess they're just that. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can actually. I don't think this is going to be uh, the town cemetery. The dead and undead await behind that gate. Plenty of work for a witcher. Yeah, probably. Um, to help him out, though, we probably... Will it be pine or oak, perhaps? An entire crypt? Let's see. Five hours wide. I don't need a coffin. I don't intend to die anytime soon. Makes sense. Maybe we can do business. What business? A partnership. With those swords, you doubtless lop off a few heads occasionally. When you dispatch another soul, let me know. 
And you'll earn a share from the coffin. Uh... What? <laughs> when you dispatch another soul? Well, I'll, do be, I'll probably be doing plenty of that, but, uh... Stop fooling. I need something else. What do you need? Notice... I have... Dude, I don't know what I give that guy. He, he looks like he needs some proper clothes, and there was... There was a merchant which just had, you know, gifts only. He was uh, at the antiquarian, uh, between the antiquarian and the blacksmith, and all he had was gifts. Seriously, from flowers to, to really expensive rings. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, this game, this game's gift system kind of scares me. Like, there's so many grades of items, like, fuck me. Just give me a piece of clothing or something, then yeah, I can, ma you know, he would even accept food, probably. Food and clothing, that that's what he'd need, right? But, I don't know, about the grades and the, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm sure some of you will uh, explain that to me or something. Or not, you know. This is, I, d I don't seem to be needing it that much for now, but I think it will get important later. Uh, why is the cemetery shut? Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Cool. Fear not, they stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward, but for now, no one seems bothered. How can people not be bothered with that? Uh... Tell me something else. What do you need? Right. I'm here about the notice. Yes? I understand you need six jugs of dog's lard. I want you to cull as many mutts as possible. Bring me the lard as proof. Why is the cemetery- Because- Fear Yep, not. yep, yep. I'll deal- Think putting a dead body to rest is easy? Do what you will. Perhaps the watch captain will reward you. Won't hurt to check. What do you need? Nothing. Farewell. So maybe you can just burn them. I wonder. Well, let's actually uh, start and go do something. Crying out loud. With the promotion due to me, I never need one of the streets again. Right, so we're... It is right there. It is right below here. That's where I want to be. I saw a named person there, Carmen. So I'm guessing I'm gonna start off some kind of event here. Incredible. The Zima boasts a bad neighborhood. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Yeah, definitely slums. Bouncers, though, are suspicious. Hi, Carmen. Let's actually use Igni. No? Can't. Can't even get into combat here, so. Pick that up. Chicken sandwich was screwed out, honestly. All these foods are kind of. Uh Wait, this, that's the end. I thought this was the end. What is this then? Ah, brothel. Okay. Well, let's talk to Carmen. As, you know, she's a named person, she seems important that way. Care to relax a little, handsome? Only a little. Depends. I'm open to suggestions. Let's talk. All right. We'll chat. But I'm counting on more. Surprise me. We know so little about love. It's like a pear. Sweet and shapely. But try describing that shape without saying pear. I'm no poet, but I can tell a peach when I see one. A charmer? <laughs> if this conversation carries on, I'll want some of that fruit. Um... Unusual entertainment on offer. <laughs> I wonder what that would be. Friggin' jesters or something? <laughs> I don't know. Any unusual entertainment on offer? Some clients like to play dice at the same time. Interested? Maybe someday. Nice to see you. Okay, so 